Rizalka. Uh, Rizalka, wake up! What? What? Kiko? Ah, good, you're awake. Where are we? Yes, it's me. Where? Where do you think we are? We're in my TARDIS. Why does it look different to the normal TARDISes? Yeah, it's kind of the economy model. I, I couldn't afford a very good one. It turned. It's got stuck in, in as a porter cabin, you know. Huh. Interesting. Um. Usually, the only people that accidentally stumble in are drunkards. So. That explains the bucket. Yes, the bucket. So they throw up as soon as they get in. Yeah. So, uh, what wh what are we doing here? Well, you may not remember this, Rizalka, but you died. Yes. Gavrok shot me. You left yes, me! Yes, he did. You... Now... <clears throat> I, I had an appointment! I had to go and have tea with the Zogolians in Kaloon and Seven. It was important. Oh, yes. Anytime you have to do something, it's important. But anytime I have to do something... No, there's never time for me, is there, Kiko? Anyway, the reason why I brought you back from the dead... Well, I didn't technically bring you back from the dead. I brought you back from the past. Huh. And I used this widget here to infuse your present memories from your corpse into your head. Interesting. And basically, I found out that unless we finish the Pepper LP, there will be a rip in the space-time continuum that will not only consume the whole universe, but momentarily Paris Hilton will be popular. <gasps> no! Say it isn't so true! So as much as I hate to say it, I'm, I'm, I'm afraid, I'm afraid so. It's true. Oh no. Wait, what? As, as much as I hate to say it, we're gonna have to... finish the Pepper LP. <sighs> Hang on. We can't finish the Pepper LP. Someone else is still dead. Yes, Gavrok is, but I have a plan for that. Yeah... <sighs> I, I I accidentally got thrown into a parallel dimension, and I inexplicably landed in Ultima Seven Serpent Isle, uh, your version, and I stole your avatar's hourglass of fate. But she's still gonna get jiggy with it with the boys, isn't she? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, uh, good, good. All right. How do you think I stole it? She was a bit preoccupied. Oh, of course, of course. That's my girl. So, we're going to use this to bring Gavarok back from the dead. Hopefully. Wait, this your... is the ghost of Gavarok. You don't have to revive him. Not for Pepper. Please. No, let's do it. Please. Sounds like fun. No. Yeah, let's do it. This sounds good. Wait. Yeah, uh, now, all I have to do is turn it over. And I will he, haunt oh, you! Oh, yeah, Wait, no, I'll be he's alive. He's rematerializing right now as we speak! <sighs> Wait... Ah, welcome! Well, oh, damn welcome it! Welcome back, Gavarok, to the world of the living! Hi, Gav, how are you Hi. feeling? Um... Could be better. Yeah. I, I get that. Really? <laughs> could be a lot better. Yeah, well, um... You know, like, uh, we were nice enough to take you home. Um, I don't know if you remember. I hope you don't remember. Because if you do, I might get shot again. But, uh, hey. <coughs> no, I took the liberty of removing all of his weapons. Oh, good, good, good. Well, um, well, we were just thinking that, you know, you might like to do a little bit of, uh, let's playing with us. Yeah, oh, like oh, baby oh, okay. Pepper. Um, I can't... Um... Now, when you said I would like to... It's too late. It's happening. Are you insane? You don't really have a choice in this, Gavrok. No. Pepper rules your life. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Um... um... Yeah, can I, uh, kill myself up. again? No. No. You'll just revive me, won't you? And of course, yeah. the uh, streaming program has decided to freak out on us, so we can actually pause the video while I find out what's going on with it. Just a moment. And a moment.
Good lord, it seems even the Daleks are trying to stop us from finishing this LP. This must be urgent. We must press on. Yes, we must. So let's restore the game. Wait. Wait, what am I saying? This is a terrible idea. I hate Pepper. I know. But it's okay. But now if you remember, last time we were here... That was me. Hello, Ben. We've missed you. No ben, I'm still seeing the introduction Frank. screen. Oh, well, you need to refresh the stream, my friend. In any oh, case, that's just, oh, there's that's Ben. That's just lag through the space-time space continuum, Gavrock. You'll get used to Oh, God, Ben! Yes. <laughs> yeah, you you wish you weren't seeing Ben right now. Apparently, Pepper needs to walk around the tub to look at him. Jeez, is that really Ben but Franklin? Why would she want to? <laughs> I don't know. He looks like a total retro hippie. And he's in a hot tub. Yikes! No, he looks like Luciano Pavarotti after a particularly long binge eat. Mm. Let's touch him. What? No! <laughs> hey, little brother. I got no my No touching space. the Ben! I got the place in the cosmos and you've got yours. Let's keep it that way, okay? Okay, well, let's talk to him. Uh, Mr. Franklin, can I talk to you? Talk away, little dude. Words like birds are truly free. Um, is he wearing lipstick? <laughs> yes. Yeah, you know this hippie. They wear lipstick. Necklace. Yeah, yeah, he's wearing um, yes. hippie beads. Oh, jeez, Uncle Fred ben really Franklin, did fry his you, brains. The reason why you're you're glad he's in that tub is because he's all woman. <laughs> and hey. he's wearing old lady sunglasses. Mm, yeah. yeah. Anyway. And has he got, like, female pattern baldness? Yes. And is he nude? Yeah. Yes. Anyway. Yeah, okay, I seriously need to kill myself again. Anyway, Mr. Franklin... No, nope, no, nope, there's nothing in here to, to let you kill yourself. Could... No, seriously. <laughs> yeah, no, you're alive. Could you please help Damn me save you. my dog? He was kidnapped by Sir Pew and his daughter. They've taken him away and... Hey, little dude, mellow out. Here, take this. I'm sorry, how could you mistake General for Sir? Eh, I wear it to remind me to forget anything stressful. Uh, thanks, but, uh, Mr. Franklin, I really need to get my dog back. Can you help me, please? As a fellow human being, I can't refuse. Here, read my doctrine of personal mellowness. It'll help you come to grips with your hostility, you dig? Nor! <laughs> but I don't want to come to grips with my hostility. I want my dog. Hey, chill out. It's your dog's destiny to be with the pews. Peace, baby. Uh. 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 Thanks, Ben. Let's read this said doctorate. The Doctorate of Personal Melanus by Benjamin Franklin, Guru of Grooviness. Spelt wrong. Yikes! This doctor. I wonder if you use the true false on it, if it's true or false. No, you can't. It's in your inventory. There is no true or false in your inventory. Can you smother him with the book? <laughs> if only. I mean the no. pamphlet. I'm lagging to crap. No. So, yeah. yeah. Yikes! The doctrine goes on to say, "Full oh. of these thirteen guidelines for groovy living, and you'll be like 13. one totally cool dude or dudette." One, pig out, eat till you hurl, drink till I you slosh. Said, said it. Yes. I said it. Bear. What? I don't know. Oh, just ignore Gavarok. He's glitching from his resurrection. Ah, yes, yes. No. Was that a glitch? Yes. Great. Chatter. Talk all all the time, day and night. It's fun. <laughs> Three. Be a snob. Life is too short to be neat, man. Never make promises. If you did, you'd have to, like, actually do something. Waste money. Drink till you slosh. Yeah, that was a while ago. You're a bit slow since the resurrection. Um, waste money. Money is the root of all evil, so throw it away. Be lazy. Why waste your energy doing anything? Wait, 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 wait. If I've regenerated, does that mean my hair has changed? Yeah. Finally. No. No? Shouldn't it? No. No, uh, glitch in the resurrection matrix. Your hair was just unalterable. It appears to be part Kiko, of the, I will the universe together. 
Uh, you know what? I would have lives. You know, I would have said that you didn't actually. You actually resurrected me with a Ultima method, not a Doctor Who method. So really, that makes no sense at all, and that I I, I wouldn't have changed at all. But considering you're too stupid to come up with that, sure. <laughs> I still hate you. Don't, Shut. Don't get involved. Uh, <laughs> Life isn't fair anyway. No, you I'm can't not. change anything, man. From the words of Peppa. Yeah. Especially your hair. <laughs> Party hardy, do like totally everything to excess. And avoid baths, because, like, smelling bad is totally natural. Let it all yeah, out. Yeah, he's in a hot tub. <laughs> I'm oh, still Procaster. at um, numbers one and two. Bastards. All right, we're actually out of time, so we're going to come back, and I'm going to see what I can do about Procaster. See you guys soon. Bye.